Okay, welcome to Aussie Target. I'm just running through a quick demo here of how to use the simulator mode in Aussie Explorer and the altitude simulator in Aussie Target for practicing with this tool when you're not actually flying. So the first part of it is the simulator in Aussie Explorer. There's a couple of ways to get to it. If you come up to moving map, you'll see it under NMEA simulator and that will bring up this little tool here. I've also put a little quick launch button up here for it since I'm quite often using it during testing. So when we move our mouse over the flashing here button, it'll give you the instructions. Basically click on the button, click on the map in the position you want to start and then start NMEA communication with the GPS. So in this case, it'll be communicating with this simulator tool. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll click here, we'll pick a random launch site on the map and you'll see nothing happens. You'll get a ping and uh, that lets you know it's selected. The here stops flashing. And then to start it actually navigating, click on the NMEA tool there. I've got a little quick launch there or under moving map, it will be start communication with GPS. And you'll see we've now got the bug on the screen and we're ready to navigate. If we set up the speed, so we just bring our speed up to about eight kilometers an hour and then we can set our direction and we're now navigating across the map. So obviously while you're doing this, you may want to bump the speed right up, 148 kilometers an hour, get things moving, and you can just change your direction as you need to, to test whatever you're testing. And then you'll see, bring your speed back down so it goes zipping off the map. So that's the first half of it. So to test the tools here, you can see our speed reflects the speed we've got here, our direction in magnetic, um, doesn't reflect this because this is in true, I should point out. Um, if I went to my settings over here and I changed that to true, uh, you'd see that we've now got 30 degrees, 30 degrees. I'll just go back and change that back to magnetic. So that's the first part of it. If I wanted to simulate any of my navigation stuff, I'd just do what I normally do, a long press on a waypoint, navigate to, we're now navigating to a waypoint and you can see we've got our distance to go, our bearing, our track, and then all that information that we'd normally be looking at. So that's the first part of it. Now the second part you'll notice is that in the altitude field here, we've got minus 65 feet. This simulator tool within Aussie Explorer does not give you altitude. So I've got an extension in here, altitude simulator, brings up a separate tool and what this tool does is send altitude data into Aussie Target for the testing things as well. So we can set a start altitude so at the moment our elevation here is uh, we're 1036 feet above the ground so we'll bring our start uh, elevation down to say 1400 feet and we'll set up a climb of 600 feet per minute. We're in simulated climb mode here we could simulate a descent. So we hit start <coughs> and at 600 feet per minute our altitude's increasing and you'll see that we've now got an altitude feed into here and we're getting our above ground and everything. We can just drop the speed down so we're not, uh, not climbing too fast either. If you want to put the balloon back into a descent, all you need to do, click on simulated climb, changes to simulated descent and now we're coming down and our altitude's dropping off over here. So where this is useful, if we want to have a play with the, uh, the flight winds tool, obviously it needs an altitude input to start re recording. So if we go to our flight winds, you can see now, we'll go back into a climb, we'll bring the speed back up a bit, uh, that it's now making those recordings. So direction is 20, which is magnetic, and speed 8 kilometers per hour. So if we change our direction, by the time this gets to the next reading, which will be at 1550 feet, um, if you look over here, you'll see our direction's now changed. Likewise, if we change our speed, by the time we get up to our next reading at 1600 feet, uh, that will have changed again as well. So we'll just let that tick over. And there you go, so now our speed's changed. So obviously this is the best way for testing out these tools if you wanted to muck around and select a wind direction, draw it at a waypoint, do all those sorts of, uh, sorts of things. 
you can do that. You just need to manually adjust the direction that you're flying and the speed that you're flying and all that information will update. Just allows you to get in there and uh, try a few of the different tools and see what's going on. Hopefully that helps and uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Bye bye.